Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So I decided that I would start a new series on my channel where I will be doing a hood construction or hood creation, if you will, um, from scratch. So, or kind of from scratch, because as you can see, things have, things have been placed down um, already. And... Honestly, the reason why the lots are placed down is because I just, I wanted to make a map as to where everything would be. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I ended up doing. But other than that, I do have a couple of things. But yeah, other than that, nothing else has been done. Um, I wanted to start this series because I have always wanted to create my own hood from scratch. Um, and by from scratch, I mean literally creating every single lot, um, maybe not the residential lots, depending, like I'm going to build the apartments and the, and the, um, and the town, the townhomes, like the townhouses. Um, I'll explain a little bit about that later, but, um, some residential homes, like I do have Honeywell's Bespoke lots I think they're called I'm not sure I may be wrong about that um but these guys here by Honeywell I believe it's Honeywell if I'm not mistaken it doesn't say okay well anyway um I am going to be using these in this neighborhood here um and potentially in this neighborhood here um and then I might build my own I don't know we'll see what happens but anyways so I decided to start the series because I've always wanted to build my own hood from scratch and I've always wanted to go in and decorate and like completely make something of my own creation, obviously besides the terrain because I'm just not talented enough for that, <laughs> but to go in and make different lots and add in trees and deco and all that fun stuff. Um, however... I have, like, issues with my attention span, okay? I get really, like, I have this really, really shitty habit that I just have never been able to break for some stupid reason where I start something, whether it's a project or something, and I don't finish it, and then I start a new project. Um, and it's not necessarily that I get bored of it, I just stop doing it and I kind of just fall away from it little by little and then eventually I just don't do it anymore and I hate that I have that habit um, I've tried kicking it so many times it just never happened so I'm thinking maybe if I record this as a series that would give me enough incentive to actually log on and complete this hood or a hood in general once and for all so that's really the reason why I'm doing this. Another thing I wanted to mention before I get started is that the terrain looks really weird. Um, I am using Curious Bee's neighborhood road and terrain replacement. Um, I had rural rural charm installed by, I think it's Cricket was here, but I'm probably wrong about that. It probably is here. Um, anyway, by Cricket on Tumblr. I was using their Rural Charm because I downloaded Feverfew the other day, and obviously Feverfew uses that terrain, um, but I'm kind of done playing in Feverfew for now, and I wanted to go ahead and build my own world, or hood, I should say. This is going to be a small New England-style town, reminiscent of places like Salem, Massachusetts, other towns in Massachusetts that I can't think of right now, um, various towns in Connecticut, um, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, places like that. Um, I really wanted a hood. I've always wanted to play in a TS2 hood that reflected that like small town American feel, but New England. Um, I haven't found a TS2 hood and if you know of one please link it down in the comments but I haven't found anything that resembles a small town New England hood like a coastal hood you know what I mean with the architecture and all that kind of thing um, I have never found a hood like that and so I wanted to build something 
similar to that with Wimborne. And obviously, small New England towns have roads and sidewalks, and Rural Charm by Cricket doesn't have sidewalks unless you go in one by one and place sidewalks yourself um, per lot and per, like, you know what I mean? Like, imagine replacing sidewalks for this whole entire, like, road area. That would take forever. So I decided to just create a whole new terrain folder with Curious Bees Road Replacement, this replacement here. So for Wimborne, we are using Curious Bees Terrain and Road Replacements because they have the sidewalks. And then that way, I'm lazy, you know what I mean? That way I don't have to go in and replace all the sidewalks. Um, so yeah, as you can see, which actually one more thing before I get started, I'm sorry, I keep talking, but just one more thing. Um, these episodes are going to be anywhere between 40 minutes to an hour long. Um, they're going to be quite long episodes and I imagine this series to be something that people maybe grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or maybe they're cleaning their house and spending time with pets or something and they're just chilling and feel like watching someone build a hood on YouTube, you know, um, it's not going to be something, it's not going to be a series where the videos are like 10 minutes long and then it's one and done, you know? Um, so just so you know, you're going to be in here for a while with each episode. Um, and if you're not into that, okay, that's cool. If you're into that, great. So anyway, um, so I do still have Cricket's, um, neighborhood deco in here. I didn't want to get rid of it because, I still like it and I want to use it. Um, but the only thing I'm noticing is that the gray tarmac of this and that just doesn't match. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping that Curious B ended up putting something similar to the sidewalks in, in Deco. I don't remember downloading some anything similar to that. So, um, yeah, that might not be the case. But anyway, it's not something that'll make or break for me. Um, you know, like it is what it is. Like if it doesn't work, it doesn't work anyway. So yeah, as you can see, lots have been put into place. I still have to throw in a cemetery lot somewhere. Um, and I'm back and forth about adding a church. And the only reason why I didn't want to add a church is because of the history of Wimborne, um, which I'm not going to reveal that right now because I'm still tweaking it. Um, but it is not a religious town. Um, a lot of the Sims in here are not like Christian or Catholic. And as we know, like the churches in here are very typical or the ones that I have are very typical, like Catholic and just Christian in general. Um, and I'm not a Christian apologies to those who are, if that offends you, but I'm not a Christian and the Sims in this town are not Christian. And so it just doesn't make sense for them to have a Christian church, you know? Um, so I'm back and forth about adding a church, but I do want to add a cemetery because I like having hoods where if a Sim dies, I can move their gravestone to the cemetery. And I'm thinking of adding the cemetery somewhere here. But other than that, I do have some lots placed down. Um, I also have a sky. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a sky line, like a horizon line. I was trying to find terrain, like skylines. Again, if anyone knows of any, please let me know. That would be great. <laughs> but um, I was trying to find more skylines than the season enabled ones by Cheesecake Persona or Great Cheesecake Persona or something. I don't remember what their username is, but um, this is the skyline by Cheesecake Persona or the skylines and I do really love them but I would prefer them to match to be a little more seamless with the grass I mean this is okay but yeah I was looking for more seasoned enabled skylines because I do have this is supposed to be the ocean and as you can see I really love rural and I feel like it fits for the town but the ocean sort of just stops you know and it looks really funky. So if I go into tab mode view, for example, what would it look like? Like it looks like a lake. It doesn't look like an ocean. 
And I don't want to use the beach skyline because it's tropical and this isn't tropical, you know. So I was looking for skylines that had an ocean, but that were still like hilly and rural and things like that. And I couldn't find anything, unfortunately. So let's try green hills. This looks like water. The only thing is the water is like over here. Doesn't quite make sense. This sort of makes sense. Um, I wish I could turn this over here, but this is a lot wider and it's all the way to the right, so that's not going to work. Hmm. Let's just see if we can. See, that looks really weird like that. I'm so back and forth. Let's try, let's try moving it to a different corner. That looks even weirder now. <laughs> that looks like even more weird. I just wish we could. I mean, this sort of works because you don't really see like the bottom. You know what I mean? So if we are in lot view, which is really like what matters we're gonna have buildings and stuff and like hood deco in the way as well but yeah like you don't see that green patch you know so I keep exiting tab mode and what I'm trying to do is lower the camera um, what if we like zoom out yeah so this doesn't look half bad actually that looks much better Yeah, I like that. Let's keep that one. Okay. Okay, so we have our terrain in place or our, our skyline in place. Um, now, this is going to be, it's quite like a, a small hood. I mean, this is really all of the community lots that we're going to have in the hood. And they're all sort of just smushed in together. I feel like compared to a lot of other hoods, this is really like nothing. But... It's got quite a lot of lots. Um, it even has extra lots in here that I have not figured out because I wanted... Okay, so when I was placing the lots, I... So I made a whole list of the lots that I wanted to have in my town. Now, I like hoods that have many things for my Sims to do. Um, I'm not a fan of hoods that have like four community lots, you know, like I like something where it's very interactive, it's very immersive, um, where my Sims can pick up the phone, call a taxi and go to the lounge or the nightclub or the pub or the bar or the hotel and casino and spa or the beach or a internet cafe. You know what I mean? Like I like having lots of lots. <laughs> I figured out that there were going to be 20 lots total. Community lots, by the way. That is not with in addition to the residential lots, but there's going to be many different things for my Sims to do. So I'm going to go ahead and explain the different lots that I have. A few of the lots are multifunction lots. So they are, for example, a grocery store and um, what is it that I have? A grocery store next to a library, for example. And they're not going to be in the same building, but the two buildings are going to be in the same lot. You know what I mean? And I avoided adding like retail, like individually retail, individual item retail shops to multi-function lots or multi-use lots because I don't want my Sims because a lot of these retail shops are going to be owned by Sims that I create for the hood and I don't want them having to buy a whole library and a candle store. You know what I mean? Like, so I avoided doing that, but anyway, I feel like I'm talking so much. I apologize for that. I'm just trying to like get all the information out first. Um, okay. So here we have the sports bar and shopping plaza 
So this is going to be like a little sports bar back here. And then it's going to, a shopping plaza is going to wrap around um, with a parking lot and a parking lot here. So this is going to be that. And then over here, I'm going to throw in some of Honeywell's residential homes. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Maybe more residentials. It depends. Um, and then next to that lot, we have a diner. What's going to be a diner with a farmer's market next door. Um, and I would like to throw some farms like back here because obviously it's a farmer's market and I would like to have produce stands and stuff like that. I have a set, I think it's by around the Sims 2. I'm not sure, I may be wrong about that, but um, it's a really cute set and it looks like a farmer's market set, you know? Um, and then here is gonna be a nightclub and then next to the nightclub is gonna be an art gallery where Sims could sell their art as well, maybe even an art studio upstairs. Um, this is the Wimborne, Wimborne Pub, a high-end restaurant. These don't have titles, by the way, because I don't know what they're, I need to figure out the street names and all that, but a high-end classy restaurant. This is gonna be a lounge. Um, and then, yeah, so as you can see, like I have like different letters. Um, so this is going to be a library and grocery, as I mentioned. So it's going to be a building, library building next to a grocery store. This is going to be Wimborne Town Hall. So this is going to be sort of like the community center where Sims go to find help with social services. There's going to be like fairs and things like that. And they go there to find a job and to get social welfare and you know different things like that so that's going to be the town hall behind it is the park um i have this like image in my head of this thing going in through here and then it leads to the park and then you see the town hall right in the center um and then this is going to be a cinema with a bakery next door and then these are just going to be empty lots um i'll probably just build buildings there and keep them empty because something that happens a lot with my gameplay is I create a new character or a new sim or a sim family and then they want a certain I want them to have a business of some sort and there's no community lot for me to um for me to give them that you know so these are just going to be left empty for that as well as these three retail retail three retail two um so yeah, and I know it's like place weird, but whatever. So these are going to be empty and then these are going to be empty or no, these four are going to be empty. And then these three, I'm going to turn into something else, probably like a candle shop slash factory, something like that. This is going to be like a trendy sort of cafe, kind of like your Starbucks cafe. Um, and then these four here are going to be townhomes. So those really pretty um, family townhomes that you see like in New England. Um, that's what that's going to be here. And then over here is going to be a bookstore, um, like a really cute mom and pop bookstore and a really cute mom and pop bakery. Um, I know I have two bakeries, whatever, don't at me. Um, <laughs> this is nothing yet. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but, and then these are going to be apartments. I don't know what kind of apartments, but we'll figure it out. So this is going to be the Geek and Internet Cafe or like the Geek Internet Cafe. Um, so this is where all of the nerds and geeks in my town go and there's going to be an arcade and there's going to be like a little computer room and it's going to be really fun and really awesome. So that's that cafe. And then this is going to be kind of like your trendy hipster restaurant, like where all the like hipsters kind of hang out to eat, you know? <laughs> Um, and then here's going to be a gym with a pool hall and sauna and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then this, for some reason, street is in capital, but I wanted the name of it to be the name of the street mall. So like, if this is like East Main Street, for example, then this would be called East Main Mall or something, you know? Um... And then this is going to be a bowling alley. And then 
we go down here and this is going to be a hotel with a casino and a spa right where the beach is and then this is going to be the hotel's beach um and i wanted that right on the water because it's really like luxury and nice and expensive so that's what that's going to be um and then this is just wimborne's main beach and then over here we have like wimborne cove so this is i don't even know what a cove is i just thought that was a nice name for it so um yeah, so that's going to be there. I have to edit that because I used Royal Charms grass on that and I shouldn't have. But, And then this is going to be another residential area. Let's throw in some of Honeywell's houses here. Another reason why I wanted to throw the lots in first was because um, I wanted... We're going to change the um, addresses of these places once I get the street names down. Another reason why I wanted to get the lots down was because I wanted um, I wanted to make sure I knew where they where the lots and the buildings were going so that way when I do add neighborhood deco I don't um, this is a really nice house well wow. I don't mess that up with um lots you know what i mean or if i like have a certain look for a lot in mind i don't mess that up with neighborhood deco you know um is this the only other dutch colonial yeah it is okay all of the ranch starter ones are gonna go where the other residential area is by the way um that's why i'm not putting them here so there we have like a residential area. Um, I don't want to continue it here because I want there to be a break where I can add like a little arch thing, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, so that's a residential area. And then here, these are all like the same size, but let's get rid of these. So as you could probably tell already, um, there is going to be some slight editing to these videos in this series. Um, however, I'm not going to be doing, oh, why do we have, anyway, we can probably like, you know what we can do? Let's get rid of this. It's the same house. <laughs> um, yeah, there's going to be some editing, but I don't want to do it heavily um because obviously i want you guys to see the whole process you know um and yeah so another thing we can do by the by is we can place the same lots down this is a great starter home area it looks like um yeah, we can place the same lots down, but you can throw down the same lots and just recolor things to look a little different, add a fence maybe, make it a little more, you know, just make it different. Um, but yeah, so those are our residential places. And I do like having a lot of residential homes in my world with plenty of apartments. I'm gonna have some townhomes here. And the reason for that is because I like making my Sims from scratch and actually putting them in my hood because otherwise EA, I mean, it's going to do it anyway. Like EA is going to like generate random townies that just don't look good, <laughs> which it's going to happen anyway. But at least this way I have like Sims of my own wandering around, you know? Um, and yeah, so I feel like that's good for residentials. That's plenty of homes here, plenty of homes here. And then we have four townhomes here. And then we're gonna have apartments with loads of different apartments here. So I feel like that's good so far. So now that we have, oh, let's throw in the lot for our cemetery. I don't know where this is gonna go, my dude. I want it to be like, I wish I could just do it there, like in The Sims 3, you know, how you could just add like, Okay, so I'm thinking of having the cemetery go here. Um, 
I don't know why that terrain is like that, but I want to just flatten this area. So modify neighborhood oh, terrain on. So let's see if we can just do this. That should be big enough, right? Okay, so there. So that can be flattened. And I am pressing a different key key because I have a Scandinavian keyboard. Okay, so this is going to be the cemetery. I don't even know if I spelled that right, but whatever, who cares? <laughs> um, is that flat? It doesn't look flat. Like it looks like it goes down here a bit. But anyway, it's terrain you know we've finally got lots down everything is said and done there let's go ahead and throw in some neighborhood deco which is like my favorite thing to throw in um i'm gonna start with the flora so all of this weird patching i'm gonna just cover that with trees <laughs> as many trees as i can so it's definitely it's new england so lots of pine um so I'm just going to throw in these pines. I feel like these are recolored, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe wrong about that. Um, because this is ocean, I'm not going to throw it by the shoreline because it won't grow there, obviously. So, um, But this should be good enough away, I feel like. I feel like these are recolored and retextured, but I may be wrong about that. Like this. I like doing it where it's spinning like this because that just gives it a more natural look. It's a lot of pine trees, but you know what? That's what it's actually like, so I'm not even going to touch it. <laughs> um, oftentimes when you like throw them on a hill or something, I like how there's random gaps here and there. You see how natural that looks? Like these, you definitely find that on in actual terrain. I live in Norway. I live in the east part of Norway. So all of the terrain looks, it actually looks very similar to here where everything is pine trees. <laughs> like all around me are just pine, 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 pine. So this is what that reminds me of. But what I can't stand, let's see if it happens. Not that much actually, but what I hate with like trees and stuff. Oh yeah, there we are. There's one. Is you see how they're like just floating there? I hate that. I hate that. So I like to just go in and fix that. But another thing I can do is add different pine trees, which I plan on doing anyway, so. Okay, so there we have different sets of pine, um, which is what is realistic. You're not just going to get um, regular evergreens, you know what I mean? Um, you're going to get some redwood pine, Scots pine, you know, um, all that kind of stuff. So this is looking a lot like the Pacific Northwest, which was not my intention, but anyway, um, yeah, see how all of these pine trees here, like, sort of, there's like a gap, you know, looks a lot like where I live, to be honest, it's pretty crazy, but, <laughs> but anyways, we're not going to worry about that, I like the reflection, I like that you see it reflected in the water, Okay, so that works there. Now I want to add other trees. Um, and I realize this is like a lot of trees, but I do want very heavy, heavy forested areas because the thing with um, these ones, these are cute. I really like these. The thing with these are going to be kind of like on the outskirts of the forest. Maybe some in there, but not as much. The 
the thing with the trees, um, in lot view is that oftentimes they are, is this going to work or is this going to be like weird? Oftentimes from, looks kind of weird with all those there, doesn't it? Let's, let's not do that. I like just the pines in this area. Maybe we'll have like one or two. Like this. Um, what am I trying to say? I keep getting distracted by like all of these trees. Um, these are okay here, I feel like, because now, because this is a neighborhood or this is like where the neighborhood is, you know? Um, but what was I saying? The thing with trees, when you go into your lots, is like, let's say we have a sim living here and they're in their backyard kind of just chilling. No, what are we doing? <laughs> um, if you have forested area, you can easily see, you see how like you look, let's say we're in, we're in this lot. Okay, but you see how like you can see the forest behind this house that's going to be here, but you don't see any gaps. That's what I like to prevent with my trees. Um, there are a little too many though, however, so let me just go ahead and get rid of some. Um, yeah, like I don't like having a forested area where you can see all of where it's very spare it's very sparingly decorated you know I don't know if that's I, English isn't my first language so apologies if it sucks sometimes but anyway <laughs> um but yeah okay that works for me with trees and I am going to add more trees in the center and stuff but I just want to cover up all of these little patches of random terrain that I don't like so <laughs> um so yeah let me just go ahead and continue doing that by the way um can anyone tell me what these shadows are because they are so annoying like I don't have them here but here I have them. Let me actually just take a quick screenshot so I can post it on Tumblr. Maybe someone on Tumblr knows. I think I know what the issue is. I think it's these trees, not these ones, these ones. Oh man, really? Who were those trees by again? What we can do is on the outskirts, it doesn't matter if they Or having them on the outskirts is the ones that I have to delete because um, those are the ones that cause the shadow. Oh, that really like limits our tree usage though. <laughs> that really sucks. Is there like a fix for that? Maybe there's like a fix for that. I can check for second for the second episode. Up here, I don't really care. Maybe I need to download a non-default version of it so it doesn't have that like weird shading issue. Yeah, we definitely need different types of trees because just this doesn't look realistic, you know, just that one type of pine. Something we can do, let's just test. Something we can do is add some cliffs. Okay, it's not letting me for some reason. Is this the one that I was like, what are these? Are these rocks or cliffs? Yeah, this is a cliff. Okay, small, straight, slope, chunk. It's straight. I don't know what that means. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so something we can do do we want brown like this? Does that, is that a good color? 
we can just add cliffs hello because that's realistic right and I was planning on doing that anyway so um, dark is too dark grass grass maybe might work for oh maybe not because the grass is a weird color <laughs> so let's do let's just stick to brown Oh, this is nice. Yes, I like this. Yes, I like this a lot, actually. That doesn't clip in there, though. It has to be like this, I feel like. Um, hmm. So we'll just do that, then, I think, because then... Oh, this is huge. Okay, let's do this one. Nice, 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 nice. I'm excited. I'm excited. <gasps> you guys, I'm so excited. This is also a hill. Our hood is going to look awesome. And you know what? This would be a great place to put a waterfall because I was thinking what a shame that I don't have anywhere to at a waterfall but now I'm thinking that we could add one here let's just get rid of some of these trees the ones that look like they're just floating in midair let's just do like random um, random small like batches of Like on the ground here, you know. I mean, if we are in lot view, what my thing is, I don't care if trees are floating if I am in a lot and I don't see it. <laughs> if I don't see that they're floating. So if I'm in this lot, can I see that there are trees floating? Not really. They just look like really tall pines. Wow, how amazing do these cliffs look though? Look at that. <gasps> beautiful wow that's beautiful okay so I'm thinking of adding a waterfall here my thing is where's the water coming from you know I am very like realistically minded <laughs> like I'm always like if there's a stream then where if there's a waterfall then where's the stream for the waterfall sort of deal oh yeah I forgot to download the mod. I don't know what direction is that in. Okay, so that is like this then. Okay, so if I add this stream here, will you be able to see it? Because we can just pretend that there's a river going up there. Obviously, our sim's gonna not going to be able to see it, but that's fine. Waterfall splash. That can... Oh, you can see it all... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's too much. <laughs> that's too much. Let's not add that. Is there like a CC lake? <laughs> Does anyone have a CC lake? A deco lake to throw in? Okay, you know what we'll do? What we'll do is I will leave it like this for now and I'll end part one because it is quite, it's getting long. Um, and yeah, so we've got a lot going already. I feel like we have a bunch of our lots in place. We have our residential lots in place, a bunch of trees. Um, we're getting there little by little. I'm going to add more cliffs and, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe we can add Maybe what we can do, instead of putting the waterfall there, as pretty as that would be, I'm going to see if I can find a CC lake. Um, if I can't, then what I'll do is raise the terrain here, like right along this water edge. And then I'll add some cliffs and I'll add a waterfall going in there. Because um, I definitely want to use the waterfall. I really love it. So um, anyway, so yeah, I'll leave it 
like this and I'll end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this hood deco video, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to continue watching the series. Once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.